Making dream cheese start to finish all three days in one video. Making dream cheese is easy. It only has three ingredients. Two are shown here. Salt and plain whole milk, yogurt, no flavorings, no additives. Make sure it has active cultures in it because that's super important. And some cheesecloth or you could use a plain white very clean t-shirt. This is organic cheesecloth, unbleached. It has, uh, I think it's been pre-washed, um, and it's really good. It, the, the pores are very fine, so nothing will get through except for the whey. So I'm using two quarts, and there's the second quart. There you go, it's all in there, it fit. I'm super great. Oh, and that's just a colander over a bowl. So now all you got to do is bring it together and, well, just secure it and make a little sack out of it. And then tie it up with some twine or some uh, kitchen string or whatever. I didn't have kitchen string, so I'm just using twine. There's a little loopy thing you can do, but I couldn't remember how to do it. I'll, I'll research that and do it on the next one so you don't have to keep tying it. And It's kind of like a slip knot sort of a thing, but I forgot how to do it, so I'm just tying it up just like this. And this little rack is the perfect solution. I just hang it from up there with a keychain ring over a bowl, and the whey is going to drip down in there. I'm just going to let it hang there for 24 hours. Time to do the next step. So I'm just going to cut it down from there and pour off the whey. I've already poured off a lot of it and I've got quite a bit of whey in there. Doesn't it look like lemonade? Yeah, people make a, a drink out of this. So now let's just cut this thing open and see what our beginning cheese looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look delicious? You could eat it right now, probably. And then just scrape off any cheese that's adhering to the size of the cheesecloth or your t-shirt, whatever it is you're gonna use. I do not recommend using the cheesecloth that you can get from like a craft store or Walmart or whatever because it's almost unusable. You have to just layer it up and it's just not as easy to work with. So now I'm gonna add the salt. And the recipe calls for one teaspoon of salt per quart of yogurt. So I'm just going to put the first teaspoon in and then mix it up and add the second one later. Now for the second teaspoon. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over and then mix it in real good. Now it's time to tie the bag up again. Yep, I'm using the same cheesecloth throughout the whole process. Just get your twine or kitchen yarn or kitchen string or whatever it is and tie it back up and let it drain more. I already tasted it and it's delicious! 
and I do save the whey. It's out in the ice chest and it's very nutritious. There's a number of things you can do with it. So maybe in an upcoming video, I'll share that with you too. Anyhow, I'm going to let it hang for another 24 hours. Tomorrow. It is time to take this thing down. There's a little bit more whey in there. It's not draining anything anymore. So it is time to do the next steps. I've washed my hands. Let's just kind of open this up. Looks pretty gosh darn good, doesn't it? So this next part, all I'm going to do is, well, roll it in little balls and then roll it in. This is just Italian seasoning. You can use any kind of seasoning you want. I've made them spicy by rolling them in hot peppers and um, stuff like that. But today we're just going to do it in Italian seasoning. I'm going to try and fill this jar up right here. And if I can fill that up, then that's great. Basically, I should have put some oil on my hands. That's okay. I'm not going to make them real big. Just kind of like this. Yeah. Just kind of like that. Beautiful. And then you just roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Get it nice and coated. <laughs> See that? And just put it in your jar very carefully. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just keep doing this. Don't worry, I won't make you watch me do the whole batch. Just going to do a couple. Get it nice and round. Kind of compacted. Lovely. And roll it in your herbs. And you can also save them plain. I have saved dream cheese plain and then I have used it in sweet dishes. Uh, I've made uh, cheesecake with it. It's great for cheesecake because basically it's very similar to cream cheese, just tastier. And I'm making a mess. That's okay. That's part of the fun. There we have it, folks. Um, I got this jar about as full as I want it to be. There is 15 balls in here. This is a quart jar. So I decided to fill, just make a few balls of just the plain because I want to make a sweet treat out of it at some point. It's not enough to make um, like a cheesecake, but uh, I wanted a few plain. So now all I have to do is pour the olive oil very carefully over it. You want to make sure that they are all covered. Wipe off the rim before you do this. Well, you might need to do it again afterwards, depending on how careful you are. But you want to make sure all of the balls are covered, and I put in a little bit extra. So now, we're going to pour some in here. So I can make something sweet with this cheese. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. There we go, folks. It is done. I want to taste it. Well, I already did taste it because I licked my fingers. And it is absolutely delicious, especially with the Italian seasoning on it. So I am going to store these in a cool, dark place. If it gets too hot inside the tiny house, I might stick them out in the ice chest. But you really don't have to because it's got salt in it. It has the active live cultures from the yogurt and the olive oil also acts as a preservative. I mean, people have been using olive oil to preserve things for many, many years. So they say this tastes best after it's been marinating for a week or two. So I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try my hardest not to try any for at least a week. At least a week and then maybe I'll just try one and then let you know how it is. Well, I already know how it is. It's going to be delicious. Today is the day. I waited a whole week, so I'm going to give this a try. I already know it's good, though. Mm. Mm. Very creamy. 
all tangy. The olive oil comes through. Whoops. There we go. Oh, just delicious, you guys. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to stop at just putting it over crackers. This is a cheesecake made out of dream cheese. It bakes up perfectly. The consistency is absolutely wonderful. Here, I think I just put some strawberry jam over the top of it. It was really, really good. And stuffed jalapeno peppers with dream cheese in the center wrapped with bacon. I like to make spinach and feta cheese pizza. Well, I replaced the feta cheese with dream cheese and the spinach with wild greens and it was wonderful. I love making dream cheese and I hope you'll give it a try yourself. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.